welcome back to my little corner of the internet. For today's video, I'm filming my solo road trip to Bonnaroo. So I'm actually meeting some people there, but getting there and getting home all by myself. It's actually my first solo road trip and I'm kind of scared. And also I already filmed this intro once and it didn't record and I didn't realize that until I was, until I was already here in Memphis editing, but that's okay. Just gonna reshoot it. So for today's video, I'm taking y'all along with me on my solo road trip. So I guess it's not so solo if y'all are coming along with me. I was really anxious about it because I'm just an anxious person. But since I'm already most of the way there, things are great. So it's a little bit later than I hope to be leaving, but just stop for gas, grab some ice for the cooler, and now it's time to hit the road. So it's about 12.45 in the afternoon. And I'm almost halfway there, making really good time actually, but I'm starting to get hungry and I'm starting to nod off again. So I had a clean yerba back in my cooler, as well as some grapes that I'm gonna snack on and drink on while I keep driving. I might stop and pick up lunch, but I think I'm gonna try and just make it all the way there and then find a good vegan friendly place to eat in Memphis. I haven't really been stopping in a lot of gas stations except for when I need gas. I've been stopping at all of the Texas rest stops, which actually, I swear, are the nicest rest stops in the country. They're huge. There's always more than one bathroom that are super clean, that have tons of stalls. I guess Texas just understands we have long stretches of nothing, and uh, kids need playgrounds, and adults need bathrooms, and they have fancy information, and stuff about this area of Texas inside, which was cool. Actually, I'll go ahead and show y'all. That's a rest stop. That's just me chilling at a rest stop. They have a little playground. They always have a little playground and like a trail you can walk around it. That's really nice. So walk around a minute, fresh air, back to the drive. Welcome to Arkansas.
Welcome to Tennessee. So I made it to my Airbnb. I found it. It's about 7.30 now and there's a little vegan cafe about 10 minutes from here that I found online. I think I'm gonna go check it out before they close. I'm not gonna show you the inside because it's like a, it's a big old house that they turned into like a hostel style. So there's like people and stuff in there. So I'm not gonna show you inside, but this is what it looks on the outside. So I just got back to my Airbnb from grabbing some dinner. I was gonna go to this little cafe called Imagine Vegan Cafe in this cute little hipster part of town and they were closed. They are closed for plumbing maintenance things. So as I was walking back to my car after reading the sign on the door, there was a woman standing outside smoking a cigarette who worked at the restaurant next door. And she said that they had been closed for two weeks. And I said, well, I, I didn't know that. I'm from Texas, I'm just here for the night. And it didn't tell me online. And she goes, well, you can eat here. And I looked at the door and it said Korean barbecue. And I turned to her and asked, well, do y'all have any vegan options? And she was like, yes, we have a rice bowl with veggies and tofu. You just asked for no egg. And I was like, perfect. So I went to this little Korean barbecue place and I have no idea what the name is. I'll, we'll look it up. Here's what I had. Little rice bowl, veggies, really healthy and it was really good. It came with this chili sauce and it came in this like super hot cast iron bowl. And so the rice on the bottom ended up hardening into like a crispy layer and it was really good because you like mixed it up in the bowl and it was like little cracker, little rice, cri rice, rice crispies, rice crispies, rice, they were rice and it was crackery because it was crunch. It was yummy. I really liked that combination of like the crunchy rice layer and regular rice and then fresh veggies and tofu. Definitely didn't expect to end up at this little random hole in the wall, but I'm so glad I did. That's part of the adventure, right? I'm just going to go inside my Airbnb now and do a little bit of work and maybe do a little bit of yoga and go to bed. There's a lot of people here though and I'm kind of nervous to do yoga. I'm actually nervous to walk into the house right now because there's a lot of people here that were not here earlier when I stopped by and I've never stayed in a hostel so I don't know if people are gonna try and talk to me. I don't know what's happening. Let's go find out. <laughs> so my GoPro is dead but I wanted to give you all a quick update so I'm sorry if the quality is bad. This is recorded on my phone and I have an old iPhone. I need a new one but one of my favorite ways to explore a new place that I might be staying in, even if it's just for a night, is to find a place to go for a run. So I actually found a park called Overton Park, and it's this huge 300 plus square acre park in the middle of Memphis. It's got a golf course and a museum and some trails through the woods, so I had a great time running through the woods this morning, getting my workout in because I sat in a car all day yesterday. Feeling really good. Gonna go back to the Airbnb, get ready for my day, and then go find a coffee shop to work at. I think I'm the only one in the house right now. So I guess it's fine to film inside. I just finished taking a shower and getting ready, and I'm about to be off to a coffee shop because it is, it's already 10 o'clock and I don't have coffee. Baby needs coffee. Also, I've never used a record player before, so I tried to use this one.
So I just worked for about four hours at a weird random little coffee shop. Of course it might be weird in this city, but it felt totally normal to me, right? Art everywhere, little gift shop. It was very, my water bottle was making a very weird noise. Um, so I just finished working for about four hours. I got this week's video set up to upload so that y'all still get a video while I am dancing up on a room. It's a what's in my vegan cooler video. I'll link it down below. Just like what food I'm bringing with me camping, what vegans eat while camping, that kind of thing. And now it's about 2.30 in the afternoon. I got about four more hours of driving to do and the campsite opens up at 8. So if I leave now, I'm gonna get there a little bit early, which is fine. I'll have to get in line and wait anyways. <sighs> Time to finish this drive. I will check in with y'all again in a little bit. Probably somewhere else random in Tennessee. So I'm about two hours out. I'm at a rest stop and the last two rest stops I've stopped at there's definitely been, a, definitely a lot of people that are going to the festival. I've already seen a couple wristbands, so I went ahead and popped my wristband on. And yeah, getting close, getting excited. <coughs> Fucking jackfruit jerky in my lungs. Ugh, I've made it to the line. Um, I've been in line for an hour already. I have no idea how long I'm going to be in line and I have to say this is the worst part. I can get to things solo. That's so easy. It's this fucking waiting in line, fucking no service, can't listen to YouTube videos, can't download podcasts, and got no one here to get hype with. I'm trying to listen to music and get hype on my own, but I can't get hype if I don't know how fucking long I'm gonna be in traffic. And okay, I just need to rant about this for a second. Who the fuck opens a festival at 8 p.m.? The sun starts going down at 8 p.m. Like, the fuck I'm gonna get there and it's already nine, it's already dark, and I'm gonna have to try and set up my tent using what, my fucking headlights? I mean, I've done it before, I do it at Renfest, but like, for fucking real, you couldn't have opened the grounds, like, I don't know, during the day where there was sunlight to set up camp? Look, I'm trying to give Bonnaroo a chance. The girl that invited me seemed just as excited about Bonnaroo as I do about Forest. So I thought, this will be dope. Dopeness has not started. Dopeness won't start until I fucking pull up to the group camping lot. Cause then I can fucking get out and stretch and do some handstands and like meet everyone. I mean, that's another thing too. Like I'm gonna get there. Everybody else is already gonna have been there. Cause I'm pretty sure they were talking about meeting in line at like six. My ass stayed in Memphis and worked to make sure y'all got a video and edited half of next week's video so that, you know, baby can get some rest time and recovery after this experience. I mean, but that's actually really pretty. Just a field of tall grass with the light blue sky in the background, sun setting, and fucking light bugs. It's really pretty, but like, can you not? I don't, I've been in my car for more than 14 hours the past two days. Um. Can we hurry this shit up along? Like, come on. Just wanna get there. All right, well, I'll stop like angrily ranting at y'all and update you again when I get there. Arr! I'm sorry if it's dark too. It's fucking dark outside. I'm not about to turn the light on my car because then people could see that I'm filming and like a fucking asshole and there's cops everywhere because they're all watching the line and I don't wanna get pulled over and deal with that shit. So yeah. I will update y'all when I get there and we can close out this video of my first solo travel experience. So far, most of it's been good. The only thing bad is this bullshit. And if I wasn't going to a big event, I wouldn't have to deal with it. So maybe if I take myself to fucking Europe and just get on a plane, that would be easier. Baby steps, baby steps. We're at two and a half hours. I'm getting so antsy and my butt cheek is cramping up so bad. I just want to fucking stand up and walk around. Like, everybody else has at least got people in their car that they can, like, fucking switch out with or fucking chat with. And I'm just fucking alone. In line. Got no fucking interesting podcast to listen to. I just don't want to listen to anything. I just want to be there. And I want to be done with this 
fucking line. Like, really? I need to walk around. I can't do three hours in stop and go traffic. It's just ridiculous. Finally made it through the gate. Five hours later, now I get to try and find group camping. But hey, at least I made it. At least I'm here, right? I made it. I finally got my tent set up, everything set up. I'm out of the car. Ups and downs. Getting here was great. The line was not. But I'm happy to be here. And overall, my first solo trip, great experience. And now I'm actually confident in myself to go traveling solo more. And I can't wait for all the rest of my festivals this year. And I hope to catch you at a festival this summer. Thank y'all for watching. I'm the Vegan Rainbow. Bye.